Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Space Engine. So today we are going to be checking out another custom built um, system for the game and this one already looking pretty awesome as it is a six star system. So if we look here, there's um, here's our primary star. But if we go into the uh, satellites area, we can see there's six of them. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty interesting one. There's a lot of stuff um, added in here, I believe. So um, yeah, really awesome stuff. And yeah, credit to Zane B for sending this in. I think he said something about crediting Metacool Kid as well. So credit to both of those um, guys for um, putting this together. But without further ado, let's just get straight into this. So... You may recognize there's actually some different music in the background as well, and that is because I actually um, programmed some in um, from one of my other games, Sword of the Stars, as I can't use the normal Space Engine music. Um, so, yeah, I've uh, programmed some other music in, which um, is pretty awesome. So if that's um, if that's what you're hearing, that's why. But, yeah, here we go. So the first star, here it is. So this is the um, also to mention the HD28 Wasp system. So, yeah, the six-star system here, and here is our primary star. So it's a orange giant, as we can see, pretty, uh, pretty high stats right there. So yeah, there we go, looking good. Then we have our secondary star here, which is a red dwarf, I believe. Here it is. So oh, we're going past it there. Don't want to go too fast. And also, guys, if there's any lag in this video, apologies. But OBS Studio, which I'm using to record this, it's very funny with Space Engine at the moment. And I don't know why. So if it freezes for um, a couple of seconds, um, yeah, I'm really sorry. But if any anyone knows how to fix it, please let me know. Because, yeah, I've tried my best to like optimize my PC settings and stuff for it. But it doesn't seem to work all the time. So, yeah, just let me know. Um, if you know how to fix that, but yeah, there we go. So that is the second star here. So this is Wasp B. So now we're going to head to Wasp C, which is the next one over here. So we're going to travel all the way there now. So um, yeah, here we go. So you can see there's a bit of lag there. We're apologies for that. I don't know how to fix it. Um, so yeah, there we go. But anyways, if we head to the planets now, so if we go on the menu here, we can see there's four around this star. So let's go ahead and check these guys out. So it's, it seems to like it better if I travel to them manually. So that's what we'll do. So here we go. So as we can see, this thing is ultra, ultra bright. Um, obviously, with the amount of stars are around here as well. Obviously, they're going to be glowing, glowing hot. But yeah, here it is. So this is the first of them all. So this is HD28 Wasp CA. So yeah, here we go here. And it's got um, it's a mini, a hot mini Neptune, and it's got organic uncellular life on it. Okay, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there we go. 514 degrees as well on it. Really, really awesome there. Looking good. Um, so there we are. The next object. Where, whereabouts are we? Okay, so here is the next one. So this is CB. So there we go. Even though it's first in the line, this is the B planet for some reason. So um, yeah, here it is. Probably because they're orbits. Um, coincide of each other but yeah there we go oh so yeah there we are so this one very very similar in appearance to the first one as we can see in the top as well it's slightly smaller in size um right there slightly less of temperature as well it's also got some uncellular life on it and it's a torrid mini jupiter this one okay so yeah there we go and this one's actually larger and more hot i just got them too mixed up there but yeah there we go so looking good All right now we're moving on to the third of the planets now so i believe it is this uh it's the which yeah the one with the red orbit so it's this one over here so it's got a blue glow to it as we can see there so as we uh approach it we'll uh, increase our speed a bit don't want to get too fast oh it's so much cooler traveling around the space engine it's so much easier to like fly around in this really really awesome stuff but yeah here it is here so this one is a hot mini jupiter it's a lot bigger than the other two it's the largest of all of the four around this star 335 degrees there and yeah, there we go, looking very nice indeed. Let's lock onto it so we can actually um, get a gala look at it. But yeah, here we go, so looking good. We can actually um, turn down the exposure settings as well, just to get a nicer look at it as well. So it's got mainly like a coral sort of pink looking colour with it, with some other different coloured in the bands on there as well, with like a bluish red atmosphere, I want to say. It's different in some areas, but yeah, there we go. But let's put it back to the way it's intended to be viewed. So yeah, there we go. But yeah, just look at all the stars around here. I mean, there's the two over there. Obviously, it's orbiting this one. And there's loads more. You can see the other planets glowing as well. Like, so many cool stuff in here. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that is CD. And now we're heading to CC, which is all the way out here. And this one appears to be the only water world um, by the looks of it there. So here we go. So let's approach this guy. And have a check it out. Oh, that's looking very nice. So it's a very, very tropical, light blue looking world um, by the looks of it here. So yeah, there we go. Looking very fine. And actually, sadly, I can't go to the surface because the recording software just doesn't have it. So real sorry about that if anyone wants to see the surface. But I, I can't do anything about it. 
real shame, I know, but if anyone knows how to fix it, please let me know. It worked fine last episode, but I've tried recording this a couple of times already, and I couldn't even get further than this planet, honestly. Like, it was that bad. Every time I tried going near it or near its surface, it just, the OBS just froze. So if anyone knows how to fix it, please let me know. But yeah, sadly, I cannot go to the surface on this object. So yeah, there we go. So we have to sort of view it from space. I mean, I can try and get a little closer to it, but yeah, I'm not actually going to land on it. So yeah, there we go. But yeah, it's already it's already freezing up as I try and get close to it. So I generally cannot go near them. Like, it, anyone knows how I can fix this? I mean, you guys just witnessed it there. If I get close, it freezes. OBS, you are a real pain. But yeah, there we go. So yeah, apologies that we can't land on its surface, but let's move on to the next star. So we're going to head to um, Wasp F now. So whereabouts is that? So if we head out from that star. Okay, so we are heading down here next. Right, so if we check out the planets, this one has three planets, oh no, four planets in orbit as well. So the first of them all, let's go ahead and check it out. So it seems pretty close to it. So um, this star also appearing, oh, that's an orange dwarf, this one, okay. So there we go. All right, first of the planets, here we go. Check this one out. Okay, so this is a hot super Neptune, okay. Um, there we go. So it's um, quite large in size as well. So it's quite an um, interesting mix of colours. It's got some pinks and purples in there. It's got like a lighter, creamier colour as well. If we just lower the colours, we can sort of see it there. So quite a mix of different colours. It's also got gas giant storms, which is really awesome as well, as we can see there. Looking very nice indeed. That's one thing I wish Universe Sandbox had, is like random storms that appeared on gas giants like this. I mean, look, it just looks so good um, seeing all that. So yeah, there we go. So it's like a green storm, as we can see there, but I'm not going to get too close to it. Um, but yeah, there we go. There it is there. So zooming out again. There we go. Right now heading on to the next ones. This is Wasp FB over here. So let's head towards this guy. A little bit more lag. Apologies for that. But yeah, there we go. So this one is a more generic looking object as we can see. It looks a um, lot more um, rocky, dry, not much going on here. It looks like there's some volcanoes. Yeah, they're definitely volcanoes. All the black, dark, brownish spots on it. They are definitely volcanoes. Um, if we look behind, yeah, we can see some volcanoes. If you look carefully, you can see some orange glows um, on the surface as well there. So, yeah, looking very, very fine indeed there. Very nice. So, there we go. But, yeah, definitely, uh, it reminds me of Mercury in a way, actually, just with volcanoes on it. Um, now, moving on to the next one, though. This one is looking pretty good already. Look at this beauty. Wow. So it's got rings as well. Oh, so yeah, there we go. So it's a nice Neptune blue colored object right here. That's looking good. Very, very nice. That's my favorite so far, I think. Very, very nice looking indeed right there. Awesome stuff. Right, awesome. Yeah, that's definitely my favorite. Very nice rings on it as well. Damn. All right, anyways, moving on to the next object now. So this is a hot oceanic sub-aquaria. Right, okay. Um, so uh, it's a rocky planet with rings this time around it's got some um, areas of water on it not much um by the looks of it there and look at the day night cycle on this it's just got this little little sliver of darkness just due to the uh, amount of stars in this system so as we can see stars are surrounding this in all directions so yeah not getting much um night time here um by the looks of it so yeah there we go really interesting the lighting on that i wonder how plants would work on a world like that i mean the day and night time there'd be a lot of uh, photosynthesis going on um with um, the lack of um or with the lack of night time so it would be interesting to see i mean who knows how it would work but yeah there we go maybe a bit of a bug going on look you can see there is a shadow of where the rings are here there's a shadow but there's a star over there there shouldn't be any shadows really on the rings hardly so a little bit of a glitch going on there but if we look underneath, there's no shadow. But if we go up, there is a shadow. That's weird. <laughs> that is weird. But anyways, let's go out of those four. So now we're moving on to... Okay, so this was star FD. Okay, so... Oh, no, we haven't done this one yet. Okay, so we were on F. Yeah, we were on F. So now we are heading to star D. So let's go ahead and head to it. So let's go ahead and travel there. Right, here we go. So zooming in again bit of lag again apologies but yeah if anyone knows how to do it please help <laughs> but yeah there we are so let's um, turn orbits on so we can uh, work out where we are so zooming out right first of the planets here so this one's looking quite similar to the first objects we saw around the first of the stars that have planets so yeah looking it looks very similar to one of the ones we saw it's got a pinkish red atmosphere on it 
um, appearing similar to Jupiter. Yeah, it looks quite similar to Jupiter, but a lot hotter and more glowing red, that's for sure. So, yeah, there we go there. And it's a pretty good-looking world, I have to say. Very, um, very nice. I'm liking it. The red glow just looks... Oh, that looks awesome with how hot that is. It's only at 294 degrees Celsius there as well, but, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. I'm liking that. So, yeah, there we are. Right, next one looks to be another ocean Earth-like world. Let's go ahead and over there. So this one's got um, organic multicellular life on it. It's got a lot of awesome looking clouds as well right there. So there we go. I really like the clouds. It looks like Venus clouds. Like you can see just the patterns on the clouds, especially this area here. This bit. They, that looks like Venus. Is it just me that the clouds do look like images of Venus I've seen? Is it just me? You guys can let me know in the comments. But yeah, I like that. That looks really cool. Reminds me, it looks like a terraform Venus um, in a way of those clouds. But yeah, really, really liking the appearance on this. It's definitely more of an ocean world than land. There's definitely more ocean than land um, by the looks of it there. Um, if we turn up the exposure, we can sort of have a, um, a lighter look at it as well. But yeah, the clouds looking very, very nice there. But yeah, there we go. So yeah, we like that one. The next one appears to be something pretty large in size as well. So here it is here. What is this? Damn. Okay, they have they have gone crazy with making this. What is this? Let's uh just lower this a bit. Exposure. Can we uh Wow. Doesn't look like we can really see much on this world. That is a mysterious world indeed. They must have just turned the atmosphere completely up. I mean I can try and remove the atmosphere um with the space engine mod and stuff. Let me see if I can uh is it no it's not that. Here we go. Oh no, no, I don't want to do that either. Is it Shift F1, Shift 1, Control 1. I'm not sure. There's a, there's a way to open the menu to mod these guys. Oh, here we go. So this object here, if we lower the atmosphere, I want to see what's underneath this atmosphere. So um, height, there we go. So underneath it looks like that. Okay, so it's one of those like glowing red objects again um, by the looks of it there, but with an insane yellow atmosphere on it. I mean, it was like this. Pretty crazy stuff. But yeah, there we go. So you can see it a little more like that. I like the yellow atmosphere on it. It's looking good. Um, but yeah, that that is pretty over the top if you ask me. But yeah, pretty unique and cool nonetheless. I mean, look at look at the nice colours it makes and stuff. Pretty awesome stuff indeed there. But yeah, there we go. So looking good. And also, we're not forgetting about the ring around it as well. It's got an, uh, a small outer ring on it as well. Looking um, Looking pretty good there. So yeah, there we go. Right, moving on. Okay, we need to head back to the correct star. So we're in, we're in star D. Okay, so the next one is DC. Whereabouts are is that one? So zooming out. So oh, we've got to zoom out quite a lot for, for this one. Okay, here it is. So it's the one with the red trail. Right, what has this one got for us? So oh, oh we've just flown past it. Yep, that's quite a hard thing to do in Space Engine is to get there exactly at the right speed. But yeah, here we go. And this one is... Oh, I'm liking the way this looks. Oh, this... Oh, okay, this is definitely the coolest rocky planet so far, if you ask me. Wow, that's looking... Oh, look at the glow behind it. Oh, wow. That is definitely my favourite one. Oh, it just looks great. So it's also an organic multicellular world. It's a cool marine earth, um, as we can see there. Temperature's minus 75. Hmm, don't, not sure about that with those glowing hot areas. Oh, the glowing clouds look amazing on that. Yeah, that is 100% my favourite rocky planet in here. Let's just disable the orbits. Let's close this menu. Just, oh, just gaze upon it looks great if i do uh i should be able to close the menu as well look at that oh maybe i'll use this as the thumbnail but yeah that oh that's my favorite um, rocky planet in here wow not sure i'm not sure if i'll put it above the blue gas giant but oh this one is oh it's a beauty really really like that the orange clouds i have seen some planets like this before in the game and they are very nice looking indeed and with the ring as well very very nicely constructed indeed with that one awesome stuff Right, there we go, but now moving on. So we are heading to the last of the objects in here, around this star. And then we have one star left. So the last object is all the way over here. So let's go ahead and lock onto it, and then travel to it. So here we go. Right, here we are. Right, oh, okay, so it's another ocean world. It's got a ton of craters on it, as we can see there. If you look carefully, you can see there is a ton of craters. Actually, one thing we can do as well, if we go ahead and open the modding menu again. No, I don't do that. Oh, it's, oh it's, I always forget how to do it. Right, so if we remove the clouds, so not atmosphere, um, clouds, 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 where are the clouds? Clouds, no. Is it that one? No, that's not it. No, never mind. Cancel that. Where are the clouds? Can I... 
I want to remove the clouds. No, it's not glow colour. Ah, I'm not sure how to do it. I'm not skilled enough with this stuff. Is it... Okay, there we go. So if we sort of like... You can see him a little easier. Yeah, you can definitely see it easier. So, yeah. Ton of craters on this world. Look at that. Wow, I'm liking it. So this world must have been pummeled by a ton of asteroids. And maybe they brought water to the planet. But, yeah, really, really cool looking, unique style on it. I'm liking that. But, yeah, there we go. So I added the clouds back. Looking good there. So there we go. Again, apologies that we can't go on the surface, but lag says otherwise, so sadly we can't do that. But yeah, there we go. So heading out. Right, so now we are on the last of the six stars. So let's go ahead and head towards it. So the last of the six. Here we go. So only one of the oh no, only yeah, only one of the uh, smaller stars had didn't have planets around it. So right, there we are. Right, heading to the first of the planets now. So there we go. Right, so it's another hot, glowing Jupiter-like world by the looks of it. Yeah, similar to the objects we saw at the beginning there. Um, here we go. So it's a torrid mini Jupiter there. It's only... Yeah, it's not, it's not that small, actually. It's still larger than what Uranus and Neptune are, I think. So... Actually, no, never mind. No, it's definitely bigger than those guys. Um, but yeah, there we go. Because this is in diameter, not radius. So yeah, way bigger than um, our gas or ice giants. Um, so yeah, there we go. Right, looking good. So let's turn the menu back on. But yeah, there we are. So now heading to the next of the objects over here. So this one's a warm mini Jupiter, and it's a blue one this time. Oh, I'm liking this. Pretty nice indeed there. So let's lower it so we can just see it a little easier there. Got an, that blue atmosphere. Very, very fine indeed. Oh, look how good it looks in the nighttime as well. Oh, liking that. Really, really good looking indeed there. Right, and then moving on to the last planet of the day over here, which is only a little bit further out. It is very, very similar to the other one, clearly made of the same materials. It's very, very similar looking right there. But I think I prefer this one. I think the bands on it look better, I have to say, with the cloud, the gas giant clouds. They're looking, they're looking good there. Um, but yeah, there we go. So there we are. I believe that is everything. So yeah, if we go out, we have seen all of these guys. We've definitely seen all those. There's the blue um, one. Then there are the other ones. Okay, but yeah, definitely top planets for me. Definitely this one for gas giants, 100%. It just looks great. I mean, look at the blue on it. Real beauty there with the rings as well. Very, very good looking, if you ask me. Right there, yep, looking very nice. And then the set, then the best of the rocky planets was 100% the one with the ring. The glowing hot clouds as well behind it, which is this one. Just, oh, just looks great. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you uh, think of these objects down below um, in the comments. And, yeah. If you have your own space engine systems to send in, um, send me them as well. Just, yeah, because this series, um, a lot of people seem to want to get space engine stuff done now as well. So, it's, yeah, it's good, to, um, it's good to have space engine back, um, I have to say. It's been fun um, doing these again because I sort of miss doing space engines. It's been so long since I've done it. But, yeah, it's good to, uh, good to be back with space engine now. Let's actually click play and actually watch this thing uh, rotate a bit. Save all the menus um, as we finish off today, guys. But, yeah, there we go. So, um, if you like this video, let's see if we can go for 40 likes today. Um, for another episode of Space Engine, really, really cool stuff. Again, massive thank you to the guy who sent this in, so Zane B, and credit to Meta Cool Kid as well um, for this system. So yeah, really, really awesome stuff. And yeah, guys, um, apologies for not being able to check out the surfaces, but like I said, OBS Studio just won't have it if I get close to the uh, planets. So yeah, you witnessed it firsthand as well. So if anyone knows how to fix that, please, um, please be in contact with me. I really want to know how to fix this, but. Um, yeah, that is everything, guys. So, again, massive thanks to the guys. If you want to send in your own systems, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description, and then you can upload the files there. Because it's a lot more complex in Universe Sandbox, so sending it through Discord just makes it easier for everyone. So, yeah, if you want to do that, then um, go ahead and follow those instructions. And, yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.